Hi, welcome to Promarco. My name is Thomas Wickstead. I am the plant manager of our brand new Batavia facility. I'd like to welcome you inside, show you around a little bit, and speak about some of our process improvements and the gains we've made with this new building. So welcome inside Promarco's new Batavia facility. We are currently sitting in the conference room. I'd like to tell you a little bit of our history. Uh, Pomarco has been in business for 75 years. We have global representation with a plant in the UK and multiple facilities across the United States, including this one here in Batavia, Illinois. Good morning. My name is John Bingham. I'm the president of Bingham Flexo Services. As Bingham Flexo Services, we represent Pomarco in the four state region. So that's what I, how I get involved with the company in terms of sales. Um, this is our new facility, our newest, newest facility within the organization. We've been here for about nine months now. To give you a little bit more history about our new facility here in Batavia, Illinois, Pomarco has been in Batavia, Illinois now for 61 years. We actually opened in 1960 in a building about two and a half miles from here, downtown on the river that was built in 1902, a very old limestone building that was used for a number of different manufacturing applications, including um, making ammunition back during World War II. So the facility that we moved into, and we were um, very heavily involved with manufacturing new bases, as well as mechanical engraving and chrome plating. The chrome plating part of our business is what really kept us from moving into a new facility until recent years. Just a few years ago, we consolidated our mechanical engraving operation in Roselle, New Jersey, and moved all of our plating from Batavia, Illinois to Roselle, New Jersey. And that's what allowed us to, or freed us up to be able to move into a brand new facility where we're focusing just on ceramic coated and laser engraved analog rolls. Uh, with that, we've made investments in a number of pieces of new equipment, uh, new lathes, new lasers, new polishers. Um, there's, there's quite a few things that we've done in addition to moving into a new facility. So aside from being in a nice new building, I'd like to speak to you in regards to the gains we've had since coming in here and some of the flexibility we've been allowed to uh, take advantage of. The old facility was antiquated and it was sectioned off in different rooms and various uh, obstacles. This new facility gave us a clean slate to start our manufacturing process at one side, move it through the process on a more functioning basis with a single crane system and tables where all of our process is visible to the management and the employees. It's clean and has beautiful throughput. It's also better lit and we have a better culture here when people like coming to work in a new building and have their job easier for them. I'd like to tell you a little bit about our portfolio at Pomarco. We are in the flexo business, uh, doing wide and narrow web, corrugated, folding carton, coating and laminated business. We do gravure and embossing. At Pomarco, we like to use the phrase printing better together. And I'd like to show you an example of how we do that through our manufacturing process. So this is our incoming and shipping department, uh, our receiving, we do an incoming inspection, rolls are brought in, the order is processed. We also bring the work back here when it's completed for our shipping and inspection process, where it's traded up, logistics are through our dock here and shipped back to the customer. So this is our prep department. This is where we would get the rolls come in in the condition they're received, and we would do our stripping and turning of the surfaces to prepare them for our uh, up-the-road processes, which would be coating and eventually laser engraving. So some of these lathes are doing uh, turning down of the surface, uh, like you see over here, and then further down, we'd be doing some grinding as well, getting the surfaces prepared for our next operation. We went to grit blasting after that, where you saw them uh, preparing the surface for our coating. Then you were taken into the plasma room where you saw them putting the coating on the rolls. Uh, the coating is, is, a, is a thickness, a certain thickness that's allowed on there for our laser operation. 
after you left the plasma room, you were taken to the grinding department where you saw them grinding out and making it smoother, actually into the laser room where you saw them doing the various engravings to the, to the rolls. Um, the last operation you saw was film polish. In this step, it, we do our final inspection and we call it our cell base report. So, but the cell base report utilizes a microdynamics interferometric microscope to measure not only the, the depth of the cells, but the shape of the cells and measures the, the final cell volume of the analogs. What it does is it sends out two intersecting beams of light that measure the intersection or measure the interference to the intersection. And that's what gives us a very accurate cell volume report that we provide for our customers. Well, thank you for visiting with me today. I really appreciate you coming to our new facility and walking through our processes. If you have any questions moving forward, you can contact myself or anyone in our fine sales team. Thanks again. Bye-bye.